What's up people, Dazzles here. I've been meaning to read some Terry Pratchett for a very long time now and I finally did, so let's get started. My first Discord experiences was trying to play one of the games when I was a child and oh, this is one of the most difficult point and click adventures I ever played. Apparently there was a whole bunch of stuff that you could do but I, for the life of me, could never work out how on earth to get out of the library. Apparently, if you've read the books, it makes it a lot easier, but I never quite got there. Aside from that, I've seen bits and pieces of The Hogfather, but it's been on my list for years and years and years now to actually get around to reading the books, and I finally have, and I started, I started with Small Gods. Because starting with book one in the Discworld series would make far too much sense, I decided to start with Small Gods, which is apparently book number 13. Though my understanding is you don't really need to read them in order, though I could be wrong. I've heard so much about Terry Pratchett's books and people saying so many great things, part of me was a little bit terrified of finally getting around to picking up one, especially one that I'd not heard that much about, because I really didn't want to come away disappointed because of how much the book had been built up. But honestly, it just, it was fantastic, it didn't disappoint at all, and it was just hilarious and weird. Basically, Small Gods is about a character brother's experiences with, well, meeting his god and learning about how the entire world of gods in this world works. And oh, it is... It is very strange pretty much the entire time. Like one of my favorite things about Discworld is finding out that in the world of Discworld, which is on top of a giant turtle, it's on the turtle's back that's flying through space and everything does in fact orbit around it, the conspiracy theory is that the world is round and you've got these characters being like, I've been to the edge of the world. I've looked over the edge and seen the water cascading off. I don't get how people think it's round. And I love that, like the whole, the whole fact that it's just the complete opposite of how our world works and the conspiracy theories are the opposite. And I don't know, I enjoyed it. I thought it was amusing, especially that like, they're like, turtles, turtles all the way down. No, that's, it is just really a fantastic series with a character learning about the gods and the god learning about people and what it's like to be a small god again because apparently gods come in all shapes and sizes from like the tiny little ones that no one really worships to the great big giant ones that sit in the sky and just kind of chill and watch what goes down. It was good fun. I've been told that I need to pick up and read more next so it's probably going to be next on my Discworld series of books to read, although I've got a decent pile of books in my to read column at the moment, I probably don't need more, but you know, whatever. If you've read the Discworld books, I would love to hear what your favourite of the series is. If you've read Small Gods, I would also love to know what you thought of that one and how it sits in the general ranking of Discworld books. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be all from me today. Let me know things down in the comments below or on Twitter where you can find me at Dezzles. And um, I will be back in a few days, probably with a video about something. We'll get there. Yeah. Hope everyone's having a great time, and I'll see you all later. Bye.